you, Owen. So if you stayed inside all weekend, shame, shame on you, because it was gorgeous out there, especially on Saturday. And for most of us, we've been shut in all winter long, so we have cabin fever. And we couldn't wait to get outside, right? And we were happy to see the sun. But with the good comes the bad. Most of us were so excited to get outside, we forgot to put on one important thing, sunscreen. Dermatologist Dr. Seth Foreman is here with more on what you need to know now that spring has finally arrived. Hey, good morning, Dr. Uh, Foreman. Good morning, Ginger. Thanks for being here. A lot of people probably got a little too excited on Saturday and said, oh, I want some color. I'm just going to get out there and just let it happen. Well, I was one of them, except I didn't care about getting much color, but I was happy to just get outside. Okay, but you had your sunscreen on. I certainly did. And actually, these are some of the things, this is actually some of the items that we have in our own home cupboard. What should people, first of all, I want to know, should you use a stronger, a stronger sunscreen? Because we've been covering ourselves all winter long, and this is our first real exposure to the sun. Normally, some people would use like 15. Do we need something stronger with the first time we're out? Well, I, that's not necessarily the case. Mm -hmm. You need at least a 15, because that'll block okay. out about 95 to 96 seven percent of all of the UVB okay and when we're talking about UVBs and FPF uh, SPF what are we talking about there? well SPF is the measurement of how much UVB it protects you from but also there's also you need UVA protection which is usually the titanium dioxide and sort of like the blockers that kind of give you that sort of tint Okay, and people don't want to block the, the tint, though, because that's what they want. Well, they do want to try and get some color, but, you know, that color is, is dangerous. That okay. color is what can eventually cause people to have skin cancer. And if you don't care about skin cancer, do you at least care about wrinkles? I, I think we all, yeah, we all care about wrinkles, right? Okay, so how do we know which number is best for us? Because it can be confusing. Because if it, it starts at 15 and it goes all the way up, to, it, does it go up it to 100 like 70 now? now. So, okay, 70. 70. So which how do you is, know which number is best for you? Well, I think at least 15 or above is the key. And then you also want to have the UVA blocker, which is the mm -hmm. type, which is what can give you some tint. Like this one, for this one from Neutrogena, they make really good products. Mm -hmm. This has an SPF of 55, which is definitely well above the 15 that you need. And it also has the broad spectrum UVA and UVB. You want to make sure you get something that's broad spectrum. Sure, but a lot of folks were saying, especially for the darker skinned people like myself, we don't need sunscreen, that we already have like our, our own built in uh, protection. Well, actually, people do feel that people of darker skin colors do have an SPF of 8. Just now. I have 8. You have 8. So you just have to add, <laughs> just add 7 and you're up to 15. Oh I don't my think goodness. they make an SPF of 7. Well, okay. they probably do. All right. But also as important is you want to make sure, because my children especially, this is mm -hmm. what I use for my children, this one actually has insect repellent as well. Oh, my so goodness. So it's sort of both. And the insect repellent actually lasts for 8 hours. Well, the noceum season, that's just around the corner that's coming, so that's a good one to know about. Dr. Seth Foreman, thank you so much for being here with us. Just remember, lather it on. You can't put on too much, I don't think. No, you can't. Ones. All right, thank you. The morning show. We'll be right back.